What's up, Plebheads? I'm Neo, and I'm joined here tonight by my good friend. Gage. And uh, so, uh, Gage, you and I are both pretty big anime fans. Yes, we are. And recently, I got a cool order of figures that I unboxed some during the totally inclusive uh, New Year's extravaganza, holiday mm -hmm. celebration, Christmas, whatever the hell it was. And I, in doing that order, I got a gift card from Crunchyroll. And that was a $30 gift card. And I thought to myself, you know, there's got to be a figure that I want to get. And of course, you and I are both pretty big fans of Konosuba. Yes. Of course, right. your favorite character is? Darkness. And my favorite character, as you know, is Aqua. But I found this really, really cool Megamine figure. <laughs> and I'm actually a really big fan of it. So you ready to crack it open and uh, show it off? And we're going to actually open it. Like, we're going to unbox it. And then we're actually going to open it. I know some people. Wait, what? Some, yeah, we're actually going know? to take the figure out of the box. Oh, you're so you're opening the box. We're opening this box. Take the figure we're gonna take the, the box, box with the figure, and then we're gonna open that box. without that. Okay, all right. All right. I was kind of confused. <laughs> I'm gonna open the box. It's already open. Jesus, look at you! Don't do an unboxing for two years, <laughs> and you forget how to do it. Inception. <laughs> Boxception. Are you ready to do this? Heck yeah! All right, man. Let's get into it. Let's check this out. So one thing that drove me nuts about this package, right? Is it came in a box like this. For those of you that are wondering, this figure is going to be in a box probably about that big. But this actual, like, shipping box is, like, two and a half feet long. It's gigantic. Could have got a poster in there or something. Yeah, I could have, they could have thrown in a free poster. That would have been great. That would just be filled. God, that is going to be ear rape for the viewers. Oh, my God. <laughs> wait, wait, let's do a solo. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do some ASMR. Here we go. Hang on, hang on. Kind of aroused. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Okay, well, wow, no there's... poster. <laughs> wow, there's... Okay, so they have, they have a lot of filler in this. They have a lot of this. So there's like two, three pieces well, of that. The thing I'm upset about is that I can't pop that. No, we're not going to do that right Damn now. Damn it. We have my shipping thing here, which is nice. So this is a Megamine swimsuit version, one seventh scale figure. Oh, swimsuit. From Kona Suba. Now, you've actually seen this figure before. I showed you it. I sent, I think I sent a picture of it you, to you yeah. while we were playing Day Z one night. Yes, we did. Yes, you did. And, uh, yeah. So, if you would be willing to, I'm just gonna look it over here since I did just take it out of the box. She's so take cute. Look at, you know, if you look closely, you also got darkness in that box, too. Yeah, there's nothing in there. No, it's darkness. It's, it's dark. Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, my jokes are funny. Anyways. This is, this is why I left dealing the beast. Yep. <laughs> you want to go ahead and show it off to the camera? You knew the joke would come up at least once tonight. I had to. No. Actually, hold oh, it closer. Shit. Okay, sorry. All right. You can see there that this is clearly Aqua. In the <laughs> and... <laughs> If you hear closely, if you listen closely, you can hear explosion. I thought you were going to say you could hear her being useless. But this is an aqua. This is Megami. This is... Chunchumaru. Yep. Chunchumaru. No, not it Chunchumaru. Up? Yeah, it, not... it's uh, Chumonsuke. Chumonsuke. So here's the front, back, or side, back, other side, top, bottom. Ready to crack it open and look at it? Ready. I can't wait. It's barely legal. Character. <sighs> Really? I'm not much of a lolly guy. I'm what is it? I, what is it with every person saying that now these days? Okay, dude, this is actually really cool packaging. Let's just this appreciate is. this for a second. This is. Here's that new box smell. Yes. I, was, I was actually wondering if you'd smell it, kind of acting weird. <laughs> Were you trying to get <laughs> there me to smell no it? There was no smell. I wanted to see if you'd do it. Were you trying to get works. me to smell it, you bastard? You All bastard. Right. All right, here we go. God, now you, know. you can smell it. I bet it smells like something. I did it again. <laughs> Dude, it, it literally smells like plastic. I bet it does. Yes. This is pretty cool, though. I love the inside of this box, so it's actually something... I'm going to hand this to you carefully. It's actually something I'm going to attempt to show off, if you guys will look. They have a really cool background inside of this box, right? I have no idea if you guys are going to be able to see this or not, but they have a really neat, like, themed ocean-style background on this, which I really oh, like. That's cool. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put that there for now. And we're going to work our way around this and get it opened up. You know some people are going to look up the panties on this one, right? I mean, there are so none. It's just, the there shirt. are none. It's just a red swimsuit. Well, I can't see. It's all plastic. I'm just saying, like, you now, know, tell someone's going to want to be like, hey, could you lift up the skirt a little bit? You can't lift up the skirt, dude. It's a swimsuit. Now, tell me, 
How did you discover slash get into Konosuba while we're discussing anime here? Well, honestly, I was just on Crunchyroll. And I was just looking at what's popular. And I remember seeing and a of lot course, of... of course, every isekai anime ever you have to watch. Well, Because that... every isekai anime is totally different. They all are, you know? I mean, you get killed by so many different things. Wind up in so many different worlds with so many different plots. Magic powers. A lot of and plots. Like, Multiple reason, pairs of plots. Incredibly strong. And, yeah. I'm always afraid of this. I don't know why. Anyways, um, no, what I was going to say... I lost my train of thought. How you, you found... Trump, how you found... Oh, how I found it. <laughs> How I found it was that up for us? I kind of saw a bunch of memes of this show. Oh, too. did so you? And I saw like well, yeah, because you troll Aqua. the anime memes on Instagram yeah. all the time, don't you? I, I saw Aqua. I'm like, she looks familiar. I'm gonna watch it. For and somebody who's not a YouTuber, he spends a shit ton of time on social media. Actually, more than I do. Pretty impressed. Kind of a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? So you found some memes of Aqua. Yep. Just and I saw that her being useless. When in reality, she's done a lot of really good in the show. Yeah, she's but actually, useless. She's actually pretty useful. So this is one side. I like this. My favorite part is the stand. You want to open that for us? It's probably worth more than the figure. Yeah, the fig. Actually, you know what, dude? I'm just. I was Let's legitimately for shock value. I was legitimately gonna take this and just throw it behind me into the wall. Do you want to go get your BB gun and we can do some gunshots and you know, dude? I I shots? I would if this figure wasn't so expensive. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Explosion! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright. Now for the main course, which you guys want to blind to see. So this oh, stand dude, is the completely blue. little watery effect blue. up there on yeah. where feet go. Even though she's an explosion girl, I don't know why there's water. Anyways. I actually don't know why she would be anywhere near the water at all. Unless there this isn't really, fire. This isn't really explosion. Pokemon though, so it's not... Oh my god, is this cute. Kadowakawa. Katakawa. Katakawa. Wow. Hey. Yeah. Oh, chum chum or Chumanske. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying to piss you off now. <laughs> Are you saying it to trigger me? You know it does. Chumanske. Dude, this is such a absolutely badass figure. How does it feel? Really cool. Like, it's put together well. It seems to be one piece. Uh, there is a seam up atop, on top of the hair going down the middle. That's kind of annoying. But otherwise, I'm looking for paint, smudges, blurs, uh, rips, tears, anything like that. This is actually, her nails are painted. Check this out, dude. You actually can see that, yeah, dude. Oh, I'm just saying, it feels nice. It is, and see how there's it's actual. Like you can actually touch your leg. Feel the bandage. See how there's actual. What's the point of the bandage? I well, forgot. that's remember, dude. That's in the shell. I have no What's idea what the point. The... I have I have no idea what the point of it is. Really? I haven't actually. They didn't even cover it in the movie. <sighs> I know they should. Season three with under her bandage. No, season two. We don't even... season or season, season three, yeah, because we no have season, season four. I like this dude. I like her top. Look at that. That's so. Look at the detail on it. It's so well done. This is fantastic. You need an aqua figure now. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to spend this much on an aqua figure. Oh, my God. Isn't Mega Mean your favorite, though? Yes, she is. I like this figure. This towel is really cool, too. It is very cool, towel. Let's feel the towel. Be careful, because it is part of this. It could easily break off. This is really cool, how it literally so feels. Let me feel the difference. So, here? Yeah. It feels weird just touching her. Whatever, <laughs> dude. It's a figure. <laughs> I don't do this a whole lot. <laughs> Clearly not. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, so, let's put her on the stand, and then we'll show it off. Yep. The one really cool part about this figure, right? The one thing I absolutely adore. Oh my god, that just went right in. It just slipped right in. Pull it up. <laughs> the one thing I love about this figure is this water effect around her foot. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it's done so well. So if it's okay, I'm actually going to ask you to scooch away because I'm going to go up to the camera and just show it off. Gotcha. Just for a second, and then we'll come back. So I'll give you guys a chance to check this out here. And depending on how this records, I might actually just superimpose some photos here. You got a flashlight on your camera. Yep, bring it up a little bit more. Okay. You want to uh, turn your flashlight on? Give me sure. an extra light here. It's a really, really pretty figure. And I absolutely love the style of this. Great back shot right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that back. Oh, I can't you wait love to see it. how age restricted this is going to get. <laughs> this is not going to get age restricted. They probably can't hear us anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Too far away from the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really, really cool figure. I'll give you guys a... Show me how the shot in the face is. Pretty cool. Uh, no. <laughs> So let me get the light off. Uh, can't, there you go. Perfect. Good angle. This is really, really cool. I love it. They did an awesome job. I don't know if you guys can see the painting on the nails at all. I don't know how you guys can see the base. If you guys can see it all, there's a glitter effect. A little poof of water down here by her feet. See it good? Good shots? Yep. Good shots. Booty. Really, really cool figure. I love it a lot. This is an awesome figure. All right, Gage, join me back down here. Come on. 
Tell me your thoughts. What do you think about it? I know it's not it's a darkness smart, figure, no. which is probably what you would have preferred. I would have preferred darkness. <clears throat> is this? Is this? Yeah, yeah. We're still going. You can scooch over a little bit. Okay, we're still right. going. Um, Megamine's probably one of my least favorite characters. Out of the three female yeah. characters, she's hilarious. I like her. Yeah. But I got to focus on the figure. Okay, the figure. I'm not much of a figure collecting guy. I don't got the kind of the income to do such. But if sure. I could, I would. But I mean, I don't really see a lot of figures. But I feel like this is honestly like. A lot of them. This is pretty high quality. I like yeah, the kind of like the definition is. of it how is. like around the body and the different colors. I mean, and look at look at the pinkish. look at the look at the rib cage here. Yep, they got a rib cage showing. You actually have like uh, you actually have definition here. And which they got really color neat. differentiation between different like yeah parts of the skin, which you would yeah. kind of honestly expect. You can touch it. You can hold it. That's fine. Just be careful. It feels nice. Yeah, it is a really <laughs> cool figure. And so. I, is that like plastic or what is that made of? It's PVC, yeah. It's PVC it's, plastic. Okay. So this is from Belfine uh, Amazing Amusement Company. This is the Konosuba from Konosuba Season 2, licensed by Kadokawa. Mm -hmm. um, this figure retails for about $148. With my $30 gift card, I was able to bring this one home for $118. You can tell the eyes are kind of like obviously stickered on there. Or just, I would say stickered. Yeah, I don't, you know, that's the funny part is, I don't know if these are actual stickers or not, mm -hmm. or if these are, peeling off, you know. <laughs> or if these are just really, done by really, really talented painters, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that the eyes on these figures are stickers. You guys can let us know what you think. Do you think those are stickers? Careful. I got, I got, I got. You guys think those are stickers? Not too close. Do you think they're stickers? <laughs> <laughs> or do you think those are hand-painted on? We want to get you guys' thoughts down in the comments. Actually, I want to get your thoughts on this figure in general down below. This is a brand new figure. Really, really beautiful. And honestly, I'm just kind of looking at it here, and I'm like, I waited a week to unbox this. I've mm -hmm. had this for an entire week. You remember when this came in. <coughs> yep. For those of you that don't know, he works for me or has worked for me in the past. And I always have my product shipped to my place of business. Mm -hmm. And so whenever I get something in, I'm like, hey, go put it back in the office or go put it away, you know, in the safe or somewhere for safekeeping. Oh, dude. Where does this go? We got to put him where he goes. Uh, Chumonsuke goes on top I'm of the... <gasps> okay. On the head. Calm down, calm That's down. That's so cute. Dude, that's I'm cute. Like, go ahead. Is it a shoulder or something? It's magnetized. No freaking way. Why, yeah. Shut up. That's magnetized. Wait, wait, guys. Watch this. Watch this. That's ma that is cool. I felt like, how is this ever going to stay on there without Whoa. slipping off? It's a magic trick. So, Chimonsuke here is on top. We love this. This is awesome. Actually, another figure that I have that uses the magnets is the Mio uh, from k -On, the fifth anniversary figure. Her little top hat sits on the side. It actually magnetizes to the side of her head. That is really freaking cute. I like that. That's, yeah. that's adorable. I love this. That's going to go right here tonight while I'm playing Temtem. Chimonsuke definitely kind of adds to it for me because Shimonsuke is just hilarious. It is. It is. As a little cat character, especially yeah. when she does explosion on Shimonsuke. Yeah! Just, yeah! I love that. I you love only that. liked it though because of the meme that slowed it down. It goes, yeah. Not only that too, he was shooting for, is it, is it a boy or a girl? Shimonsuke, I'm going to go with a boy. Okay. Uh, they can find about it in the comments. <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh, <laughs> Calm down. Oh, <laughs> chill out guys. Yeah, sorry. Um, I it's like, just a cartoon. Just a, oh! <laughs> Did you, you told him about the time when I said it was a cartoon on uh, the movie? <laughs> we did it in the in the review that we oh, did okay. for the Konosuba movie. I'm like, yeah, I just did that one time this fucking cartoon with my no, weeb friend here. No, we were in the theater itself. <laughs> I Right when the theater got, when the movie got done and the lights went on, we're all walking to the side. I'm like, geez, Justin, I really like it that you bring me these Disney shows. I really love these cartoons. <laughs> all right, uh, back, back, to the, back to the figure. Back to um, the figure. So honestly, you know, here's the thing. If I'm rating this figure, this is a so this is a totally stationary figure. I love the this is so cool. The magnetic thing. That, just, I, do too, I didn't think it was gonna be I'm like, how is this gonna stay on I there? I know, I thought it was gonna be shoulder, <sighs> but then the fence on the head's cuter. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out is this towel magnetic or am I gonna actually break her hand here? I wouldn't even attempt. Hey, dude. I this is for science. I'm not just trying to look up her swimsuit oh, or anything. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that that towel does not come off, guys. But this is really cool. Um, honestly, at the end of the day, other than the crease, look at it, he's just doing a little party check. Ah! No, Chimonsuke. Chimonsuke is <laughs> dead. <been> the dust. <laughs> yeah! He no longer wished to live. Um, 
other than the crease on her head, right? This is a yep. big but issue. But that's what the point of Chimon's scare. Yeah, I know it is, but you can still see it here really obnoxiously, and you can still see it here really obnoxiously. Other than that, it. yeah, well, figure collector, dude. Come on. Uh, the Where the swimsuit meets her butt, honestly, it's a little bit... You see what I mean here? Look here. It's, it's a little just, bit... like it's, it's, it's actually significant separation from the thigh as a part thick. of the figure. No, dude. That's the point. That's We're the observing to... the no, figure. No, 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 not... no, no, not thick. Not saying because I don't sexual thing. It's because the whole like you know that whole meme with okay, the whole yeah. leg so thighs. Take your no, finger, listen. Take me. your finger and feel Th- right That's here. the point because it's like fat. It's still because it's pulling yep. close on the skin. I understand that's that. The point. But look, feel right here, and you can actually see. Look, you can actually see a degree of separation. Like feel in there. You can actually like it's ridiculous, dude. Like see that. You, you can actually see where it's like an actual like cavity yeah. where the leg meets the figure. And over here, if you look, it doesn't have it. So that's something else I just noticed. They're just I, glued on then? And they're not just glued on, but there's a really significant... And like you can see up here on her back where there's a big curve in the drip or in the where swimsuit meets. It does not have that. It's a lot closer and a lot tighter meeting. But down here, this is, this is a really big party fall for me on figures. So... Honestly, I got to take a point off for that, probably, I'd say, at the end of the day. So, 9 out of 10 on this figure. It is a really beautiful figure, and it is super cute. Uh, I, I'm a big Mega Man fan, I, and I like Konosuba. I think it's funny as hell. There's very few animes in the past 10 years that I've watched six times and laughed every time. Mm-hmm. It is. It's a great show. It's fun as hell to watch. If you like Isekai anime, and if you like, I would even venture to say, rom-com anime. Because there's, def- so. there's definitely some romance in it. Uh, Come on, it dude. To, it has every character's their fair share, I feel. Yeah. I mean, there's there's some dirty moments in there, too. So, I, I, I mean, <laughs> you're where he's like... Where the he's, succubus. I, yeah, the, the succubus where he's like under control and he's like shit-talking darkness. God, I'm just like, Jesus, dude, this is dark. This is intense. You know you wanted this. Like, okay, Cosmo, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, other than a few... I'm going to call them blunders. I'm going to call the creasing on the hair a blunder, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call where that thigh meets the rest of the figure. That is a significant separation there. Not a big fan of those things. So I'm going to take a point off for that. I'm about a 9 out of 10 on this figure. It's a really pretty figure. Again, it retails for about 148 so that's pretty expensive to be having those kind of issues. Uh, it is a PVC figure. Although, other than the issues that I talked about, it is a really, really well done figure, and... One more thing I want to look at here is if you can look at like where the bandage meets. Okay, so okay, so uh, rem- okay, so I showed you the part about the thigh over here. So check this out over here. See how the bandage has like a tightness to it, and it almost looks like there's two different levels, but there isn't a separation like there is on this piece over here. This actually still looks like it's one piece, and it actually has depth and dimension to it. That's what I mean when there's a difference, right? There's a difference between them properly and done poorly. So. This figure is like the best and the worst of the figure world. It's like, Mm -hmm. we show you some really cool crafting techniques that make this figure unbelievably realistic. And then we show you some crafting techniques that make you say, oh, fuck. You know, like that kind of stuff. That's what I'm talking about, right? So overall, at the end of the day, the Megamean swimsuit version 1 7th from... What is that even? Belfine? I've never even heard of that company before. Licensed by... uh, Is it Katokawa? Yeah, Katokawa... It's a cool figure, right? I'm glad I had the gift card. I bought it because I had the gift card. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm a big fan of Mega Man. I did like the figure. And I do like this figure. I don't want you guys to think I hate this figure. Mm-hmm. But there's definitely some things about it that I noticed on inspection. And I was a little bit disappointed about. Gage, give me your final thoughts on it. Um, I already, as I stated earlier, I'm not much of a much collect, big collector. I don't know much about figures when it comes to that, especially to your degree of knowledge. Sure. But I mean, honestly, I don't go the same way with you. I say it's a good 9 out of 10 from a uh, beginner's newbie uh, eye. That looks really good. I almost say it's almost a 10 because I don't really know much, and I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. I have had, I have a few figures. Yeah, but like, I've, if you walked in and saw this on a shelf, you'd probably think it was pretty cool. I think that's a whole one piece. I mean, obviously, when someone walks in to look at it, and, and you have so many different figures, so you're not yeah. just going to d- look straight at one. Yeah. But I'd be like, that's all one piece. That looks really good. There's no, no no flaw about it. So take a second here and just look at the figure from this direction, the way we're looking at it right now. Mm-hmm. If you were to walk into the room and see that, you, you would have no idea about the things I just told you. Mm-hmm. So it does a really exactly. good it does a really good job of concealing its own weak points. And that's something I really like about this figure, for as much as I've been able to point out the things that disappointed me. It does a really good job of concealing it on first inspection. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Looks great. Yeah. 
Uh, you guys can let your thoughts on this Megamine 1 7th swimsuit version from Kona Suba 2 down in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed this unboxing. And Gage, it was good to have you back mm -hmm. on the show here. Nice to, nice to have you on for an unboxing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see each and every one of you right here next time for more content like this. GG, you plebs.